Ho, 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 Merry Christmas, the Nerds America. I am Santa Joe Claus Thunderman. And I am Elf Soenje, with a much easier name to remember. And welcome to day four of our Christmas adventure. Aha, we are back in Santa's workshop. So you may have been able to tell by these psychedelic colors. Whoa, man. So, Elf Soenje, what do you think we are doing today? Well, let's see. We've uh, we've gotten the naughty and nice list all checked off, so I'm assuming we should probably make presents for the people because so far we've just kind of made a piston and then a mine cart that goes around. Yes. So, as per tradition, I am going to sit back here and drink some hot chocolate and eat cookies while you gather all the present materials and make them all appropriate in the boxes. Ah, oh, fantastic. Well, you're gonna have to tell me you know, what everybody needs. Of course. You've got the list. You've checked it twice. Yes, 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 yes. I don't I... get to look at Santa's list now. I looked at it yesterday. Yep. So, first off, we have the Campbell family. Ah, uh, yes. What should we get Bruce Campbell? Bruce Actually, Campbell. Actually, ladies first. Let's get Mrs. Bruce Campbell something. What Mrs. Bruce Campbell... So, using my magical powers to tell it what she wants for Christmas... We. That's the sound of Christmas magic, everyone. Yes. <laughs> what Mrs. Campbell would like for Christmas is a new lamp. A new lamp. Okay. Um, alright, so let's put a sign here. This is Mrs. Bruce Campbell. Oop, hang on. Doesn't fit. Campbell. Alright, so we're going to put present for Mrs. Bruce Campbell in there, and, hmm, well, I've got a whole bunch of cool stuff in my inventory here. To make a lamp, I'd say you got a nice iron base, gotta have a stick, so that way that uh, a lamp can be held up against something, and uh, we're gonna need some glass on the sides, so that way the light seeps out, and we're gonna have a nice emerald finish on the top. I think we should probably have some torch in there, too. Hang on a second. Let me just, uh, check my Christmas inventory here. Using Christmas magic! Here, we'll replace the stick with a torch. There we go. Okay. Perfect. That looks good. Let me just type that in there. Fancy lamp. I would, uh, I would, uh, put a tick next to her name, but I can't do that in a book. Okay, we've got Mrs. Bruce Campbell's fancy lamp. Let me just, uh, oh, yes, very nice. So, that guy, for our next Christmas present, is the almighty Bruce Campbell. Ah, uh, well, I'm pretty sure we all know what we need to get him. Yes, a boomstick. A boomstick. All right, let's write his name on the wall. Bruce Campbell. And to make a boomstick... We obviously need TNT. Um... It's okay, that guy. The present survived. Why is there... <laughs> <laughs> there was silverfish everywhere. <laughs> Why did that go off? Because I put a redstone, a, a trap chest next to TNT. That guy. I still have the book. It's okay. Oh, I can't look in that. I'm an elf. You're just going to keep getting killed by these things. I've got your unusual hat. All right. I love how the anvil survived it, too. Well, the anvil is blast proof. And also how specific it went. It went right to Mrs. Bruce Campbell's present. Yeah, I know. We lost a few presents, but I think we should be good. Oh. Oh. It's all good, that guy. We got this. Nothing that a little Christmas magic can't fix. <laughs> okay, that guy. The workshop may be slightly destroyed. <laughs> But I can still make the presents. Good. I'll fix the shop while you make the presents. How about that? 
<laughs> okay. Since it's my fault. Well, not my fault. It's, um, it's... Well, it's, you uh, made that wall of presents, so it is your fault. No, no, it's not. Um, so that guy, well, who... So you have to make a boomstick for Bruce Campbell. Well, part of me just wants to put TNT next to some sticks. <laughs> well, I feel it's... A boomstick needs iron. Yeah, I'll, bit, pu I'll put some iron and stuff in there too. No bit worries. Of some flint and steel, probably. Okay. All right, we've got the the iron here. Oops, there we go. And then That's on the stuff. end of it, we've got the boom. And then I'm gonna need some flint and steel. Because as we all know, Bruce Campbell has a double-barreled boomstick. Perfect. All right. And the anvil that survived. Let's just name a name tag here. Boomstick. Perfect. Open the chest. Put it inside. Would you like to check that? Uh, not right now. I'm fixing this. I'm gonna take your word for it. Okay, do I get permission to look inside of Santa's, uh, naughty and nice list? No, I'm just gonna tell you what's next. Oh, okay. Next well, up you... is Bruce Campbell Jr. Bruce Campbell Jr. Okay, I gave you back your naughty and nice list anyways. Bruce Campbell Jr. What does Bruce Campbell Jr. want? Well, Bruce Campbell Jr. wants to be just like his dad. Okay, well, we already gave Bruce Campbell, a, uh... A boomstick. What else does Bruce Campbell use? A chainsaw. <laughs> Are we sure that's an okay present to give? It's what he wants. Four year olds. <laughs> it's what he wants. <laughs> okay, fine. Jeez. I'll give him a chainsaw. <laughs> Chainsaws are sharp. Um, so is sharp, flint. Dangerous, pointy. Flint is pointy. Therefore, we shall make that the chainsaw. And rename the name tag Chainsaw. Man, being an elf is hard work. It is. It's even harder work for Santa when he blows up the damn shop. <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no more using black presents because they tend to explode. <laughs> Who's next? Who is next on the Christmas list? Well, we have Chester. Chester, and what does Chester want for Christmas? To be honest, Chester is a simple fellow. He wants an emerald. Ah, well, I mean, he is a testificate. Let's just give him a whole block of emerald. And that one doesn't even need... Oh, wait, I forgot to put the chainsaw thing in there. <laughs> People will never know what it is. There we go. That doesn't need a name tag. It just says Block of Emerald. What would his wife, Pretty Margaret, like? Pretty Margaret needs what she likes to call the ring finger back. Oh, okay. That's... that's... Well, not, not, not the... Uh, it's not called... Uh, it's not the ring finger back. She, she wants the ring finger back. Yes, I get it. And it's it's probably a ring. So, you probably should just make a ring. I will make uh, a ring. With like a big old gem on it or something. She'll love it. I'm sure she will. Um, where is the... She says it needs to... If it can self-sanitize, that wouldn't hurt. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what that means. Well, it might be going up some butts. Oh my. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what she uses it for. All right. We'll make a nice golden band here with a diamond on it. And putting in the name tag. The ring finger. Did you know that this ring finger gives you a plus, like, 27 stat to your melee skill. That's quite impressive. It is. Who's next? Old Man Jenkins. And what would he like? He would like some glasses. But he's... I'm not even going to question it. Never mind. No questioning. Alright. Well, I suppose we could start off with some 
glass, and uh, some iron frames. So hopefully if he accidentally drops them, then he won't like break them because they're made out of iron. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? That would be super awesome, but I don't think that's how glasses work. Alright, that is the derpiest pair of glasses I've ever seen, but it's gonna have to do. I fixed it. Congratulations. Oh, wait. Glasses. Alright. You would never know I broke it. <laughs> no, definitely not. Uh, who's next? Who is next? Well, I believe who would be next is Salem Warbenbacher. Let me guess. He wants brains. No. <laughs> yes. How does one spell Warbenbacher? The W O R B E N A K E R. Q. Q, another Q. I'm a just gonna. Q. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna say Salem, Salem W. There we go. We'll give him a nice big old stack of zombie brains. Uh, what do we get for his friend Edmus? Uh, hey, Edmus is not next. What? Okay, yeah. fine. Who's next? Yeah, yeah. Well, Edmus. <laughs> you get ahead of me is all I don't like that I just kind of figured you know Salem, Edmus, they're bros what should we get him? well to be honest he's a simple fellow as well he asked for some pants ah okay I'll get him some pants then <laughs> nice pair of leather pants right in the center there they're already brown so hopefully no one will notice <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What should the, who's the next present for? Uh, that guy. Ah, that yes, with guy. the lowercase t. Yep. Um, that guy is very unfortunate, but he tries to help people as he can. So I feel we should give him some as much riches as possible and some food to get him and some fresh clothes too. Ah, Except okay. socks. Anything Except but socks. For socks. He does just just give him some food and clothes. Food and money. It should help him out big time. I'll, go, I'll, give him, I'll give him the whole shebang here. Got the foodstuffs. We'll give him a bunch of potatoes because he seems like a pretty derpy fellow. That guy gets a hat, a tunic, some pants, but no socks, big potato, and a block of diamond. <laughs> He'll love it. Guaranteed. And it will be called the oh. Christmas Care Package. There we go. Christmas Care Package. Who's next on the list? The final person on the list. Well, actually, that guy, there's a couple of other people now that I think about it. But the final people in Derp Town would be Gabe Newell. I mean, oh, Gaben. Oh, okay. Now, Gaben. I feel Gaben deserves a gift suitable for him. So we shall give him a bag full, a present full of fan mail. Ah! All asking for where is Half-Life Half 3. Life 3. <laughs> oh, I feel yeah. That, I feel that will, he'll, he'll get what he deserves. Nothing truly bad but nothing truly good a whole 64 stack of where is half-life 3 <laughs> just spreading it on out spread the joy it's everywhere i should probably have put this in, a, in the shape of a three but i don't think it's big enough to do that <laughs> i'm just putting them all over the place Perfect. <laughs> Opens the chest and all he sees. <laughs> Come over and open this chest. You're going to love it. <laughs> Where is Half-Life 3? <laughs> okay. 
So the final we... chess, that guy. Oh, there's another one. We will not be making a delivery during... Well, I'll be making the delivery off camera. Okay. This one goes to the Clash of the Nerds. Oh, we yes. Need to, we need to give them all, all their gifts. So instead of simply label... So we shall be... Uh, this will be a bit tricky. So the first one on the list is Joe Thunder. What would he like? Joe Thunder would like a mic. A microphone, okay. So, to make a microphone, we're going to need some... We want it to be a very sturdy microphone, so we're going to make it out of bedrock. There's that, with a stick. Perfect. Oh, that works. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to make it easy and tell you to just use a, leather and, a, a lever and rename it but, to a microphone. But, but that, looks like, that looks like a microphone, that guy. Okay. <laughs> now... Ian Gates would like a book. A book. Quite simple. What kind of book? A sci-fi book. Okay. About dreams. Something so, about dreams. Yes. Okay, this book is called Marvels of the Science. He'll love it. There we go. That is for Ian. Who's next? There are five well, guys that would in there. Be that guy. That, that guy. guy would like a clock. A clock. Yes, a clock. I, I would. No, no, you wouldn't. You're not him. You're I'm not. Else. Oh, no, it's you're a different so... one. Okay. Yeah. Clock is the best item in Minecraft. All right. Next. Why did you let him out? I'm still on creative mode. Wait to in go. Christmas magic mode. Shut up. Because okay. I had to kill him. He's bugging me. So, next would be Steven. Steven. And Steven, uh, well, to be honest, he too needs a clock, but we will give him a calendar instead. Okay. Because he does not, it doesn't care what he wants. He just never seems to know how to keep a good schedule. Okay, we need to keep him on schedule. I'm totally talking like the guy from Marvels of the Science now. <laughs> calendar. And finally... DJ Fesh. What, what he, he like? wants is. Okay, well, he's gonna get a nice old fashioned beep. He'll love it. <laughs> All right. Is and that everyone? <laughs> Clock. Ah, uh, I believe so. That is a lot of people, that guy. Yes. So we got Gaben, that guy, Edmus, Tallpine, Salem, Warbenbacher, Mrs. Bruce Campbell, Bruce Campbell, Bruce Campbell Jr., Chester, Pretty Margaret, Old Man Jenkins, and the Clash of the Nerds, all five of them included. Excellent. So, I believe that is all for this Christmas Day, that guy. It's been very busy. And uh, tomorrow, you know, to be honest, I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow because it's not Let's Christmas Let's just kick Eve. back and relax, man. Yeah, sounds good. So, maybe we'll invite Duke over. Yeah. Have him so, over for a cookie party. Yep. Oh, so, man, uh... Is. I'm that Santa. And I'm that elf. We'll see you tomorrow. So ho, long. Ho, ho.